Iowa State is going to the Penn Relays. They announced it a few weeks ago. Uh, pretty big deal. Iowa State normally goes to Drake Relays. They're changing it up, going to the Penn Relays, both the men's and women's teams. So I'm excited for that. And you look at what Iowa State has, and you're like, wait, they got a lot of good 800-meter runners. Wait, do they have four en enough to, like, flirt with potentially a collegiate record? So I did some little research. So let's bring up the current top 10 4 by 8 records, mm -hmm. 4 by 8 marks in collegiate history. Yeah. Do you know who owns it? Uh, I didn't until you told me. Okay. And it is Arizona State. Of course. The 84 team. Yeah. <laughs> the 84 team. Which is crazy. The number one team is Arizona State, 708. In 1984, number two team is Penn State, 7-11, 1985. And then the Virginia team, 7-12, which I think had Robbie Andrews in 2011. 84 and 85, some say the golden era of men's But that's lights. crazy. We're talking about records from the 80s, before older. I was born. That one's older than me, even. Older than you, and you are old. Barely, by a month and a half. Month and a half. Who would have thought yeah. that a month and a half after this record would go down, yeah. you would be sitting on a podcast... Yeah. With another person who was born after that time well, talking about the record game broken. So several years later, but yeah, yeah, I get you. All right. But Arizona State, all right, so you're like 708 96. How, what does that mean? What does that mean? How yeah. do you run Break that? that down. Break that down. So Iowa State has a transfer that I didn't know they got from Miami, Ohio. Oh, your the, guy. You the talked man about him last I year. Didn't know was British. Finley McClear. Finley McClear. And so, uh, Nico, if you bring up the graphic below that one. We have the top four C, the top four PBs from Iowa State. Finley McClear's run 145. Jason Gomez has run 146. Sebastian Gentil has run 146. And Darius Kipiego has run 147. Add up their PBs combined. That equals 706. Uh, you may want to zoom out because you're not showing the times there, Nico. Uh, you want to show the full graphic so we can see the times. But uh, yeah, 706. Let Nico cook too, well, man. You got to. He's, you gotta, he's, show, he's just you, showing the names. You got to show the full thing. There, it's not just you cooking here. It's Nico's got to cook, man. Come on. So yeah, seven oh six eleven. That's two seconds faster. Maybe almost three seconds faster than the collegiate record. So obviously they're not all going to run their PBs in this relay. But if your if your PBs all add up to three seconds faster than the collegiate record, you can break it. You got a shot. Now here's the problem. What's the problem? Well, I'm going to ask you this because I haven't watched it ton of four by eights since high school. The state I went, uh, I ran in, we had the four by eight all the way to state. Every dual meet, there was a four by eight. So a lot of four by eights. But then you leave high school and you realize this is not an event that's run that often. Yeah. They had a world relays a couple times. I'm guessing it's not going to follow the pattern that the four by mile falls into sometimes where it turns into a jog and tactics take over. Do you think they're going to go and just go for it? Because 800 meter runners, a little bit different than milers in that regard. You know, it could go one of two ways. Slow or fast? It could go slow or fast. But they could either you, go for it or they could not go for it. Do you it. think they're they going go for it or for the win? Do you think they're going there with 708 in mind is my question. I think so. Okay, and then my follow-up is... Why not? It's like, hey, we have it. Three of the guys are seniors. What's the point of, like, just getting the win when you like, whoa, what, what if, if we did something that's never been done before since 1984? It's pretty tough to... Well, it hasn't even been done in 1984. Yeah. They ran 708 okay. in 1984. Yeah, yeah. They didn't run faster yeah, than that yeah, yeah. in 1984. I just wonder how realistic is it to expect a 146 out of someone on the third leg of a 4x8 in a relay if they're way ahead. Do you think they'll have good competition? Yeah, they'll have some good competition. The first two legs will be – it's going to be hard. The third leg is going to be the hardest one because – and this, and the last leg, right? But – if they're if they're chasing the time, why not? Just go for it. People can do this. Like it's possible. You just have to want it. <laughs> you have that that's all it is. Yeah. That's that's all it is. Just you just gotta want it. Just need to want it. Yeah. But it is. I talked to the coach. It is on their mind. So I think it's possible. Well, let's just compare it to a mid distance race last year, where we thought the record was vulnerable. Well, there was a couple of them actually, but one where they actually got it. The women's four by fifteen. They were talking about it ahead of time. Yeah. Like they knew that they wanted the record. And those two teams, Arkansas and NC State, both ran Four. with that record in mind. Contrast that with the four by mile for the men. Now, maybe they were talking about it. Ad admittedly, we weren't doing as much follow up with them as we were with, we were kind of more focused because we were in a feature on the women's side. But they ran it as if they were just trying to get a wheel, which yeah. is cool. Go get a wheel. Like that's awesome. I, I think that's different teams are having different goals. But we all know that four by mile record can go down too. 
on the men's side. Oh, yeah. Can totally go down, especially with the current era of how fast everybody's running these mid-distance races. But you have to want it and you have to go for it. And I think part of it is if you make your intentions clear publicly, then other teams are going to say, all right, well, I guess we need to go know that we're going out this fast and we all buckle up and get ready for it. Now, maybe there's a group text on the side with all these coaches where they do that. But at least publicly, we did, we we only heard it really strongly being echoed for one of those mid-distance relays last year, and that's the one where it happened. Yeah. Right? There's a world where you could see all of these mid-distance records get broken in this meet, correct? Yeah, the outdoor DMR record get broken, yeah. or in, indoor or slash outdoor. Overall, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Oklahoma State's going there. But like, yeah. but the the women's four by fifteen. Yeah, the that can, that's that was, gone. That's gonna be gone. That well, could be. It depends how they run. They, it, they got better. They they added uh, what's her name? Ameris. I don't know how to say her name. Taisma. Yeah. Taisma. Yeah. But my point is. Got, they also had good competition too. There was two teams going for it, yeah, which made we'll it work. Get, we'll get, but like last year, the Ole Miss men, we thought, okay, maybe they can get a run at it. It didn't. It didn't happen. And then the, that four by mile for the men turned into a tactical race. 